Hello and welcome to the lecture about bipolar junction NPN transistor common emitter amplifier. In this tutorial you will see how bipolar junction NPN transistor common emitter amplifier works and how you can obtain signal waveforms by using online simulator. NPN transistor common emit emitter amplifier should Amplifier small power input signal to much higher voltage and much higher current on the output terminal of the amplifier circuit. Amplifiers with only one transistor are called single stage amplifiers. Generally amplifiers do amplify either voltage or current or both, but every configuration has its own specifics. Let's now look at the NPN transistor common emitter amplifier scheme. In order to amplify the signal, bipolar transistor has to operate in active regime. It means that PN junction base emitter has to be forward biased and base collector has to be reversed biased. In that case, very small variation in base to collector voltage cause very large variations in the collector current. Bring adequate DC voltage to collector, base and emitter respectively is called polarization. For NPN transistor, in order to have active regime, collector has to be with highest voltage, compared to the base and emitter. So purpose of the resistor RC is to connect collector to power supply VCC. Base has to be on electrical potential lower than the collector and higher than the emitter. Voltage divide R1 and R2 divided VCC to achieve that. Emitter has to be on the lowest potential. So why it is not just grounded? Why RE and CE are there? Let's return to voltage to current characteristics. If for any reason voltage VBE exceeds 0.7 or 0.8 volt, collector current would tend to infinite and melt down the transistor. Purpose of RE resistor is to prevent that happened, since it will limit current. And what is the purpose of electrolytic capacitor CE? It should hold DC component of the voltage, but it would behave as short connection to AC component of the output current. Fulfilling all these requests amplifiers equivalently looks like this to the AC signal. If all resistor values are chosen properly, if input signal is 0 volt, output should be VCC half. Then quiescent point is positioned exactly in the middle of the static or TC load line. In that case, common emitter amplifier operates as a class A amplifier. It means that if amplifies the input signal for negative and positive half period alike. So, significant voltage amplification is achieved, but output is unipolar. In every electronics text box, one can find that output is with minus sign. But this minus means no opposite polarity, but just opposite phase of the output signal to input signal. If input voltage is zero, output voltage supposed to be VCC health, since common emitter amplifier is amplifier in class A. If input voltage is 1 mV and voltage gain is minus 1000 and VCC equals 12V, it does not mean that output voltage is minus 1V, but that is 6V minus 1V equals plus 5V. By increasing voltage on the transistor base, collector current increases exponentially, so the output voltage drops since V out equals VCC minus collector current times RC. Analysis of small AC signal can be easily performed by using a small AC signal model. For obtaining relevant waveforms, visit above given website.
take care that the input signal is much smaller than that on the output so on the direct scale input signal is almost not visible. On the lower figure there are two scales. Scale on the left hand side is for input signal, positive peak 25 millivolts, negative peak minus 25 millivolts. Scale on the right hand side is for output signal from plus 11 volts to minus 11 volts. More details about the theory of operation you can find in the link below.